Hello everyone, this is the introduction to uh, KiCad and electronic board design for ISS. This will be a quick video um, going over the various uh, thing, ways we design our electronics in KiCad uh, and the way we structure electronics uh, here at ISS. However, most of this uh, knowledge will be applicable generally to KiCad and other uh, electronic board software, so if you wish to learn about that too, uh, this will be a great um, tutorial series. So this first time I'm just going over some general onboarding and introductory things. Um, so I won't go too into de too much into detail about things, but I will definitely make videos in the future that go over the other uh, more complicated things that we use in our electronics. So first we just open up KiCad and we can see that it's on a different project. This is just a project that's mine. It's not for ISS. So for you, it'll probably just be blank. So what you do is you say file, new, project. So you go here, you find wherever you downloaded uh, the TARS PCB repository. For me, it's here. So I go to TARS uh, a PCB and TARS Mark II, and we name this uh, DAQ. DAQ is going to be our, and we unselect um, create a new directory for the project, by the way. Um, and unselect create a new directory for the project. Now, next we just press save. It's going to say this. We want to continue. Yes. And now there's these two files here. So daq.sch is our schematic, and daq.kitepcb is the actual board. So now we double press on, on daq.sch, and then we see this. This is just where we're going to be drawing our schematic. Uh, schematics are just uh, logical representations of what's going on in a PCB. Um, we can make these without having to worry about um, exact placement of things on the actual PCB or any of those uh, more kind of uh, mechanics specific things. Uh, for now, this is just for laying out the electronics which is what we're going to get started with. Now first, we go to the side menu here, and there's a bunch of tool options. Uh, a lot of these we don't use, but the one we're going to get started with is this one right here. So place symbol. So this is going to take a while. This error message might pop up. It's not important. Um, you can say do not show again and press OK. Next, we're going to see this. Uh, little pop-up uh, show up, and we want to search Teensy. Teensy is the name of the uh, microcontroller that we're using for um, most of our designs. A Teensy looks like this. It's a microcontroller, which means that it's kind of a small computer that can only run one program at once. The benefit of this over a regular computer is that um, it uses less power and uses less space. So since we're not running many programs at once, we uh, prefer to use microcontrollers. Then we have it right here on the uh, schematic, and we can place it uh, in the middle. So let's just go over the different things that we have on this. First, we have this U question mark. We're going to change this to U1 because U stands for integrated circuit. Um, an integrated circuit is any anything that uh, we plug into our board or solder onto our board that we don't really um, design ourselves. Um, or it could be a design that some other team designs in ISS. But in this case, it's just a board that we buy. It can either be a board or a chip. So integrated just means something that's already made that we just put in and have it work. So um, these numbers you can see on the... Um, on the side right here. These are the numbers of the physical pins on the uh, package, um, which is um, the physical kind of dimensions of the board and its mechanical properties. So first we can see a couple different types of pin. So first is this GND. Uh, there's another one here and another one here. These stand for ground which in electronics design means the point from which voltages are measured. 
So by definition, the voltage at ground is zero. Um, as you might have learned from physics class, voltage is just a potential difference. So there's no absolute uh, electrical potential or voltage. But we can measure voltage from a given um, defined zero. So that's what ground is just defined as, as the point where voltage is considered to be zero by definition. So we can see some other power related things. So for example, VUSB, VIN, and 3V3 are all different pins that have to do with uh, power delivery. So VIN and VUSB are connected to, the, to a small device which uh, converts those uh, voltages into 3.3 volts, which is this, 3V3. So um, our board, uh, so the Teensy, runs on 3.3 volts rather than 5 volts like a lot of other devices like the commonly used Arduino or um, USB, which uh, gives 5 volt power. So we can use these pins to give 5 volts to the uh, Teensy, but then um, have the Teensy run on 3.3 volts, which is what the um, actual microcontroller in the center uses. Uh, the a microcontroller is kind of like a small computer that can only run one program at a time. The benefit of that over an actual computer is that it's a lot smaller and uses a lot less power and space. So here you can see um, this 3v3. Um, this goes to the actual controller. And there are a lot of digital uh, pins. Uh, these are just uh, logic pins. So um, some are, um, all of them can be used for just digital uh, input and output. But there are some that can be used for different communications protocols. Uh, there will be other videos going over the basics of the various communication protocols that are commonly used in uh, electronics and in ISS hardware. So, uh, but for today, we're just going to be working on some very basic stuff. So, then we're going to press escape to go back to this uh, tool on the side, the mouse, so the select item tool. Um, then, um, we can double click somewhere in the center of this uh, controller uh, icon and label it as U1 because it's the first component that we pressed, put on there, and U stands for integrated circuit. So we have that, and then it's U1 and it's labeled Teensy 4.1 bare. So next, um, let's make a circuit that can uh, uh, connect some LEDs into the digital pins. So one application of this is, for example, if there's an error or there's something going on, we can uh, flash sequences of uh, kind of blinks on uh, the LEDs that we have on the board so, so we can figure out what's wrong without having to connect a computer or connect another tool that will um, help us with debugging. This, is, this just gives us a very easy way to see if there's something wrong or what might be wrong um, if we code it to do that obviously. It won't do it by itself. So let's press this component button as we did before and look up R underscore US. So there are different symbols for resistors depending on where you are in the world. We're using RUS because we are in the US. So let's just place this here and now we have it called R question mark. So uh, R stands for resistor so now we have to double click in the middle of it so just you can see the crosshair is on it and we double click and we change the reference we can change the reference to R101 because it's the first resistor uh, associated with the first uh, integrated circuit so this just helps us organize where our resistors are so the value is going to be um, 270 ohms because um, that's the value of resistor we're using for our designs, for our LED designs specifically. Um, so, and now you can see this footprint is blank, but we need to make sure it isn't blank because it's very important uh, for when we actually make the physical board. So, we press this library button on the side. So you can see there's like books here. Um, we press this icon 
and we find that there's a lot of different options. Right now, we're interested in the uh, resistor SMD, so let me find it. Uh, it's right here. You can see resistor SMD. SMD stands for service mount devices, so it's just instead of being mounted through uh, holes where you solder on the end of the wire, um, these are just really small uh, devices that you put on the board and solder on directly on. So the one we're interested in right now is R0805. Uh, and 2012 is just in metric, so 0805 is an imperial. 2012 is metric. So in metric, this just stands for uh, 20 millimeters long and, or sorry, 2 millimeters long, uh, 1.2 millimeters wide. So pretty small device. So now we double click on this and now it's assigned to this resistor. So here we have it. Now we can select this by highlighting it like um, you would highlight some files in a folder, for example. Um, so we select it like this. Press Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. And then we paste it um, so that there's four of them. So now we have four of them, and we should rename them to be uh, R102. So first con uh, IC, um, second resistor. So this is the third resistor, and this is the fourth resistor. These names are just to help us with organizing these resistors on the physical PCB for when we get it manufactured. So now we have four of these. Now we want the actual LEDs too. So let's open up this menu again by pressing this um, uh, tool, so the uh, component place placing tool. Um, and we look up LED and it's the first one that pops up. So with LEDs, it's important that they're placed in a way where current flows along the direction of the arrow. If it's trying to flow against the direction of the arrow, no current will flow and the LED will not work. So it's important that we uh, place it correctly. So right here, we have it. Now press escape a couple times to make sure you're back in the um, select tool. So do the same thing you did with the resistor and double click. So we're going to name it D101 because first LED, first uh, integrated circuit. Value, we can make the value the color, so this will be a red uh, LED. And for footprint, we go uh, to this library menu as I was doing before. And we scroll to LED SMD. So same concept as the resistor, just um, different uh, library. So the LED library has these blue lines which indicate which direction the um, LED should be placed in because as I was saying before, LEDs only work in one direction of current flow. So we double click that and press OK. So now we do the same thing we did with the resistors. We control C after highlighting and we control V and place them right here. Now then we do the same thing we did with the uh, resistors. We double click on each one and we rename it. So we name it uh, D102. And for the value, we can change it to a different color. So we can say um, orange, for example. Um, next one can be D103 and we can name it green. And then for the last one, we can name it D104, and the color can be um, blue. So now we have four LEDs um, and four resistors, but we have to actually connect them up in series. Series just means um, that current can only f can flow through one component and through another component. So what this does is that um, current can f uh, flows through the uh, resistor and through the LED. The purpose of this is to just make sure that the LEDs don't get destroyed by uh, excess current. So um, we connect these up. And in this context, the resistors will limit the amount of current that flows. So um, sorry for the omission. Um, 
this uh, tool that we're using is called Place Wire. It's this green line across the icon, and it's the fifth tool down on the side here. So we place the wire, and we just connect these components like this. So now we have it connected to the controller, but no current will actually flow because it doesn't really have anywhere to go. It just has path, path, and it ends. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a power port. So this icon right here, fourth tool from the top. And we have this menu that looks very similar to the symbol um, placing tool. So we look up GND, and we do find this power GND. So it's important that you do that because um, otherwise it might not connect up correctly. So we always use the same ground. That's the um, in the power library um, right here. So GND, place it at the bottom because ground is usually considered to be at the bottom just by convention. So now we connect all of these up to this one ground. So they kind of come together at the end here. And these uh, green dots are just junctions. So for example, if you have a wire going from here to here, just uh, crossing, right? There is no uh, connection. So this is kind of like a, a bridge, right? Um, of two roads, a bridge. Um, but if you have it connected like this, for example, if you have it connected, but if you have it connected um, like this with a uh, junction, then it's kind of uh, like an intersection. So cars can go anywhere they want, they can't, uh, they can uh, turn or they can go straight. So um, this will be relevant in the future if we're ever crossing these green paths because if there is no junction that means they don't connect. So here we have it. Now we can uh, zoom out and see that we have create, successfully created a uh, simple circuit to um, run some LEDs for a microcontroller. Um, thank you everyone for watching and um, have a nice day.